this next bird takes a bigger band size three so this will be easier to see how the band opens up bigger pair of pliers for a bigger bird So we're going to have to use this bag to weigh him in or her. And so there the band goes on just like that. So I don't know how well the colors are coming across on the video it depends on the angle of the light. This bird is what is called iridescent. So some lights it'll look black and then other lights you'll see a, a blue green head and a bronzy color on the back. A really all-purpose beak. Once you study birds you, you can tell that this is this is a bird that feeds on a lot of different things. So this bird which is called a common grackle, is an omnivore. And so it will eat seeds at the bird feeder. It'll eat insects, worms. It'll go down to the stream and grab crayfish. If it finds the nest of a smaller bird, it'll eat the eggs. Um, so it will eat almost anything. It even has, on the roof of the mouth, a little sharp projection that's kind of hard to see just off the tip of my finger on the top of the beak it's like a little razor blade and they use that to crack open seeds and nuts and acorns I discovered that one day when one of them bit me and with that really sharp thing in the roof of its mouth and so another field mark besides the color the size about robin size maybe a little bit bigger is that bright yellow eye So males have even more color than females. They will have purple all down the sides. This one is kind of grayish brown. So that tells me this is a female. Also the shape of the tail of the males is longer and it has a V shape, kind of like the bottom of a boat. So the shape of the tail and the less bright colors tell me this is a female. In order to tell the age of the bird after studying my book, um, I look at this contrast here between these brown feathers and these gray feathers, and that tells me that it's in its second calendar year. There would be no contrast if it was older. Also, the duller coloration is a good indicator that it's in its second calendar year. So this is a second year female. wing is hundred and twenty-four. Okay, that's an indicator that we have to uh, we have to check the nets. So our guides are going out to check the nets while we finish this last bird. Okay. So the wing is 124 millimeters. Tail is 114 millimeters. no body fat but I kind of expected that there would be no body fat and the other thing I was expecting is that she would be showing an incubation patch 
which means that she is sitting on eggs on a nest. Probably that side. The wind is blowing the wrong way. So that bare patch of feathers, or a bare, bare patch of skin where the feathers fall out, is what she puts on the eggs to keep them warm. The blood vessels swell up and it makes the skin warm and it keeps the eggs warm until they hatch. So I'm going to put her on the scale. Have to zero the scale. So you see with the bag on there, it's uh, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, let's... Okay, so that's zero. So you see when I take the bag off, it goes to negative 38.3 or four, so that's what the bag weighs. bird on the scale so that there's nothing hanging over so that we get good weight. What do you see, friends? 104.8 grams. That's a lot heavier than a chickadee. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can take a closer look at some of the colors on the wing. You see the, the bronze and the blue and the purple in there? Very beautiful bird.